We'll be going over the cue points and autopilot features in Resolume. I'm using Arena 4, but the same concepts apply to Avenue 4 as well. Cue points are basically shortcuts to selected points in time on Eclipse timeline. These points can be triggered on demand and used as a way to make your visual performances more dynamic and intentional. So let's get into an example. Load a clip into the preview or output monitor and go to the clip tab on the interface. Make sure your transport and cue points are unfolded. Let's go and set up the cue points. You can set up to six cue points for each visual. These small tabs here are used to set cue points and the buttons right next to these tabs are used to trigger the cue points. The best way to set cue points is by pausing the playback and scrubbing through your clip. To set a cue point, scrub to the frame where you want playback to begin and click on any of the small tabs to set it. So what I'm doing is just scrubbing through this visual and finding different parts that have a nice cut or edit and then just setting the cue point. So like right here, I like this explosion. So I'll set that. So if you look here, you'll notice that the small tabs are now lit up. And that's because there's a cue point set for that trigger. To trigger the cue point, begin playback of your visual as normal and press the corresponding button of an active cue point. If you like to improvise, you can also set up cue points during playback. So if I scrub through the clip, I can go ahead and set any cue point while it's playing, just like this. So if you want to overwrite or change a cue point, just click on the existing cue point tab. And when you play it back, it'll overwrite that previous position. For quicker access to cue points, you can set up keyboard or MIDI shortcuts. So just go to mapping and I'm going to set up keyboard shortcuts for my composition. Click on the cue point trigger of your choice and hit the corresponding key you'd like to use as your shortcut. I'm just going to stick with the default here. And if you need to clear a shortcut, just right click on it and clear shortcut. When you're done mapping your keyboard shortcuts, you can just go to mapping and deactivate. Now if you press any of your keyboard shortcuts, you can activate the cue points that you set. So a couple things to note. Cue points can be used in both timeline and BPM sync mode. So let's switch to BPM sync and go into random playback. So now that it's playing back randomly, you can go ahead and recall any of your cue points and it'll just pick up where it left off. So this actually works with Beat Looper as well. If you set up Beat Looper, let's say at one beat, and activate a cue point, it'll actually override Beat Looper and play back your clip from the cue point. So the next thing we'll talk about is Autopilot. Autopilot is a way to automate your visual performance. It's perfect for those moments where you might need a break or you have to step away from your set but still have it feel like a live mix. It can also be used in creative ways if you need to sequence your clips. So there's two ways to use Autopilot. One is by using it on a layer and the second way is by using it on a clip. So I'll show you how to use it on a layer first. Choose a layer. In this case, I'll be choosing the background layer. And go ahead and trigger any clip on that layer. Next, you're going to want to make sure that the layer tab is highlighted and go into the autopilot controls. This button with the double arrows automatically plays clips in layers sequentially in reverse. So after a clip is done playing, it'll just play back the clip that's right before it. And this button automatically plays the clip right after it. This button with the RR 
plays back a random clip on the layer. So after the current clip is playing, it'll automatically just play a random clip on that same layer. As an example, I'll just scrub to the end of this clip here, and it triggers a random clip on this layer. And if I do the same thing here, another random clip is chosen. So this is a good way to mix things up. So to set autopilot on a clip, you right click on the thumbnail name and go into the autopilot section of the menu here. And you're presented with these options to play the next clip, previous, random, first, last, uh, determined by layer, or do nothing. I'll show you how play previous clip works. If you trigger this clip here, and I'm just going to scrub through it, you'll notice that when this is done playing, it'll play the clip right before it. So with this clip, I'll just set it to random autopilot. And when I scrub to the end, it'll just play a random clip on the layer. So this is the way it works if you trigger clips specifically set to autopilot. And this works even if autopilot isn't activated on the layer. A couple things to note. When a clip is triggered in autopilot mode, it plays the clip from beginning to end, and it does not loop. Second, if you're loading a Quartz Composer composition or a fixed source, you have the option of changing the duration. So when this type of footage is triggered in autopilot mode, you have the ability to adjust its timing. And fixed sources can range from webcams to flash files and external sources. I hope this helps you better understand the cue points and autopilot features in Resolume. For more tutorials or visuals tailored specifically for Resolume, please visit DocOptic.com. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.